In this video, we're going to see how easy it is for you to create a video meme mm. from a quote and just a few good pictures and using the power of animations and behaviors inside Camtasia. And most of the techniques I share here can be applied to your creations with other editors as well. Here's the meme we're going to create. Let's dive in. Hey, it's Gord here. Welcome. If it's your first time here and it's your passion to make great videos, become a ninja at video editing and learn more tips on how to succeed with video and marketing on YouTube, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and click the bell notification icon so you don't miss a thing. So now we're inside Camtasia and we're going to learn how to make this meme. This just 16 or 17 second meme is uh, very quick to experience and it's fun to watch and we're going to show you how you can make it very quickly inside Camtasia. First off, we're looking here at my storyboard. So this meme is based on a quote from Martin Luther King Jr. And as you can see, I've broken it down into four pieces on the storyboard, four text messages or four quote elements. And on the right side are the actual images that I'm going to use. As you can see, I've done my research to get photos that, that make sense for the messaging that I want to portray. And um, I'll have a link uh, down below in the video description about deposit photos, which is the source I used, which is fantastic. It is a pay source, but it's very reasonable and they have a fantastic deep library. So once you've figured out the kind of quote or meme that you want to do and just sort of done a little storyboard and shopped for your photos or gathered them, then you're ready to go inside. Now I want to share a few other elements. First, we are using in our project settings 1080p by 1080p. We're using a square video so that it's suitable for social for like Facebook and for Instagram. The video is only, uh, I think, 17 seconds in length, as you can see right here. And what we what I want to show you is just a few elements. First, there's an overlay. As you can see, this overlay here in this that has this pink and, and sort of, um, I don't know, candy look background, or I don't even know how to describe it, but uh, I, I decided to use that. It's PNG. It's transparent. And it's well suited and was originally designed to take a, a video piece that was shot in 16 by 9. As you can see, I just brought in a vid video clip here that would fit right in and nothing to do to resize. But because this video meme we're creating is just going to be done with pictures and adding animation, making it video like in a, in a video, um, you're going to see you're going to play with and resize your images. For example, in this first image here that we see with the lady, it's actually a little bigger than the overlay frame. Plus, as you can see in the background, I have it stretched out. So you can see it's it's actually much wider. And so the reason why I did that is because I'm anticipating motion. So I decided to stretch the image a little so that I could do more with it. The second image, which is here, you can also see that the size is bigger. The framing goes beyond what's, uh, what's what you see in, in the overlay. So I zoomed in and used a certain portion. So as you can see, the image is bigger. But when we, we, we zoom through, you can see when we scrub, sorry, you can see that it, uh, it, it moves. So again, all the images will be different sizes. And depending on the kind of animation you want to do or motion with the image itself to give it that mo movement, you'll want to play possibly with the size and, and uh, trimming it down. So we're going to go more into detail with that when we look at the custom animations. Now let's look more closely at the timeline. First off, as you can see, here's the overlay. I clicked on our canvas and you see it there. And here's the overlay on the timeline. And you notice that it's on top of the photos. So down below here, each one of these is, is one of the photos in our, in our timeline. And the reason why it's on top of is because you can see in behind the pictures are actually bigger than, and then the overlay. So the overlay is lying on top. Okay. So that's one important feature to see in terms of the design. Next, between each picture, you're going to see, I have about 15 frames of time. And it's the same that I repeated throughout the, the whole 
project. So you see here, there was the next one, 15 frames. And because the text lengths are, are, are reasonably similar, each time they come on, the total experience lapse time is approximately three seconds, ex with the exception of one where we have it, it it's, a little, it's a little longer, which is this piece here, the, the, the last piece of text, which is actually on for uh, about 3.2 seconds. Sorry, three, three, 3 seconds and 20 frames, which is near 4 seconds in length. And the reason for that is because, as you can see, there's more text to display between the top and the bottom, which means it takes a little longer to read. So next up, we, we see that each of the photos has an animation. And there's a beginning keyframe and an end keyframe. And as you can see, based on the start and end points of each of those, you're going to see, you can see that uh, the images actually um, move a distance. It's very subtle to go from the beginning to the end. So when we go through uh, image by image, I'm just showing you here where what's at. So in this case, the baby's there, and then we move, as you can see, he moved further to the right and up a little. Likewise, with the last image here, you see the ladies there. And by the way, you see two images there because of the transition. But when we get to the end, which is out here, you'll see it's zoomed in and it's, and it's slid over a bit to the left so that we can see the word plan B more visible. And then next, I want to show the behaviors. Now you can see with the text here, as it comes in, it comes from the top and from the bottom, and then it shows nice and solid, and then it fades out at the end. So we actually used, in all cases, what's called the reveal behavior, and then customized it. So you'll see when I get to the next one, it's all the same consistent way it comes in from the top and from the bottom, and then it fades out. And let's just have a quick look to see how we, we customize that reveal behavior. To demonstrate how the reveal behavior works, I just copied uh, the overlay over here and, um, and one section of the text, and you can see this is exactly how a piece executed inside the video. And the first part here is the same text, but with the default behavior showing of the reveal. As you can see, the reveal behavior here, and there's an in and a during and an out, and it, it has a behavior that looks, you know, kind of different, much different, in fact, but it was the base from which we made this behavior execution, okay? And what I've done to help you understand how that was tweaked is I made an image here, which you can just look at at your leisure and see how we went from the in, how I modified the in to the new version of the in, the during to the, the during down below. And that's why it says modified here. So you can just see how we tweaked it and the out as well. Now we're back at the beginning of the timeline. And I just wanted to show an, an interesting aspect of how the transitioning works after the anima animation. So let's just play a quick piece. So you see how when that first picture was c c finishing, that the animation finished right about here. There was a slight bit of time before the transition occurred. And now if you see the transition, it's it's um, actually quite tight. It's 20 frames in total, which is 10 frames on each side. So the default is, is normally a, you know, a full second, which in this case would be 30 frames. So I've tightened it up because that just makes the whole thing flow nicer, as you saw when we go from showing one image and transitioning into the other. So the transition is a little quicker than the default settings on Camtasia. And likewise, the same transition effect is used in each spot. And likewise, the same technique. The animation ends, then there's a bit of a gap, and then the next transition. Wow! Creating video memes with Camtasia is fun and fast because of its great custom animation and behavior capabilities. If you want to look more closely at the meme example I created here and use it as a template for getting a head start, then go ahead and download my free project file now. All you have to do is click on the link provided in the YouTube card above or in the video description below. If you're into video editing and creating videos and you want to learn more tips on how to succeed with video and video marketing, then be sure to hit the subscribe icon on the page. I'll see you in another video soon.